Hello and welcome to City Trekker. My name's Adam and I'll be your guide as we aim to find the right gear for the right task for you. Today we're going to take a look at some Dan Matsuda pouches. Let's check it out. Dan Matsuda was a designer at Triple Odd Design for over a decade, designing the Parallax, the Lightspeed, the EDC Pack, and many more. The last few years, he has shifted to freelance and has his own personal outlet at danmatsuda.com, where he produces pouches and packs and patches. This particular pouch is the Article 027, and I've got a few more that we're going to unbox today. Let's quickly take a look at this Article 27. The material on this is a 500D Multicam Black and a 1000D Cordura. You've got this uh, Velcro patch in the front here and a small pocket that you could use for your phone and then an even smaller pocket up here on the front. You've got these bungee cables on the front and the back and that's just to help hold anything in that you're gonna put there. Matsuda also has patches and this one is one of my favorite, Article 53 and it goes well with this pouch. On the back, you have the same bungee cord in case you wanna store anything there. And then this actually goes all the way through. So if you took this bungee strap off, you could run this uh, like through your belt or something. The bungee cable has six of these anchor points that you can also use for the buckle that comes with it. And these will detach and reattach. And uh, the anchor for the buckle is not very difficult to get on and off. It just clips right there. So the pouches are not primarily to be worn as slings, but it is an option if you wanna do that. I've got this one loaded up right now, so let's check out what's inside. On this side, I have my earbuds and gum, and then in the center, it's Velcroed shut, I've got my mask. As you can see, there's a pen loop here, there's another pen loop on the other side as well. I've got this Fisher Space Pen uh, from Triple Out Design. On this side, I've got a lot more going on. You've got these pen loops here, and this entire thing Velcros off if you don't wanna use it, uh, as does the one on this side. Also from the James brand, this capsule, I keep ibuprofen in here. This is the James brand Stillwell pen. It pops out and goes back on the other side. So it turns into a larger pen, uh, but I like how compact this is. I've got a small bottle of cologne here, some peace and calming oil, and then behind that, there's a rear pocket. I've got my CV knife, Young Living Thieves hand sanitizer, and my Able Carry Joey pouch with candy inside. So this is basically how all of these are organized. And you have these elastic loop organizers on either side that are both removable. This is article 027. Let's take a look at a few others that I've ordered recently. All right, let's open these up. We'll open this up. Nice. I love the packaging on these. And there we have it. This is article 070. This 070 has a 500D multi-cam Alpine and a white shell with a 1000D liner. You've got a spot for patches on this one too. Not all of them do. I'm gonna stick a Karyology patch on this one. The white and black seems to match nicely. And then let's open this up. You've got the strap included so that you can wear this as a sling if you so choose. Very similar setup on the inside. You've got the elastic loop organizers on either side that remove with Velcro, and then the center pocket that Velcro shut. I like this one, it has a really unique look to it and obviously would be cool to use in the winter. Matsuda also did a collaboration with Karyology to make these two really cool patches for 2020, the Rise and Fall. They decided to use the imagery of an astronaut, and here he is in the fall position, and here in the rise position. And I think all of us in 2020 experienced different kinds of falls and challenges, uh, but also needed to rise to the occasion and overcome. Okay, next box. We got another, I like how he has this sticker that seals it shut. And here we have article 044. The 044 is all black inside and out. It's a 1000D black shell with a 1000D liner. I think we're gonna give him the Rise pouch. Yeah, that looks cool. Inside of this is the same. You've got the uh, included belt. Uh, oh, and a little mustard yellow accent here at the bottom. You also have a tag with a cool Matsuda logo on the inside. 
So that's the 44. I think this is my favorite so far. All right, last one. All right, let's open this one up. This is packed a little differently. I think there might be two in here. I want to salvage these stickers as much as I can. Because I've got a little sticker collection going, you know. This is article 073. It is black inside and out. You've got the black 1000D Cordura with 1000D liner on the inside. There is this dark orange liner on the inside of the front pocket as well as the bottom of the main compartment. Same on the inside, we've got our belt and that uh, orange liner at the bottom. I really like this one and I feel like this front pocket might be a little bit more functional than the way that some of the others are laid out. Uh, I do like the morale patch on this one and so I, I would miss that on this, but um, functionally I think I would use this front pocket a lot. All right, one last one. My sticker collection is coming along quite nicely. So this is another 44. Apparently I got two. I'll be selling one soon, uh, probably before this video is live. I really like this 44, uh, maybe the best. It's, for me, it's gonna be between these two, uh, just figuring out on the front, which am I gonna functionally use the most? And let's go ahead and put the fall patch on this other 44. So here they all are. Uh, I've had a few others that I've bought and sold in the past. Uh, I really like these here and I'm probably gonna end up with one of these two that I keep in the long term. These are made by hand, incredibly well designed, uh, great materials, very flexible and versatile in the way that you can use these and they are limited edition. He normally puts these out on like Fridays and as soon as he posts on his Instagram account, they will sell out in minutes. So follow him on Instagram if you're interested in getting one of these. So that's our review and unboxing of the Dan Matsuda pouches. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to check out all of our future reviews. Thanks so much. Take care.